Hi, my name is Dashiell Vasquez. I'm the CEO manager for uh, Central America and the Caribbean. What makes um, Central America and the Caribbean unique when traveling with Chi is that although it is very small, it has so many different climates and, and that brings completely different landscapes. So you can go from a city and then all of a sudden you are in the mountains and then you are in a rainforest but at the same time you move a little further a few hours later you are in a cloud forest which is similar but not the same and the vegetation is different so even in the jungle you see so many shades of green you find it like a picture perfect moment instagram moment i would say and then you move on to to the, to the volcano area which is uh, cooler in the mountains and at the end of your trip you end up in the beach so you can go from all kinds of climates and, and seasons within just one day. Uh, countries are so close and at the same time they are so different. Um, I think the catch of Central America is that travelers can actually experience uh, the different cultures and its impact in, in, in different times. You can see, for instance, the Mayan ruins and its architecture and um, the pyramids. And once you're there, you can actually, people say that it can actually feel the energy of the past in those pyramids and and you are there in the middle of the jungle in a magic ruin and you can feel all his history just flowing all around you and then you can move on to colonial cities such as Antigua in Guatemala for instance and in, in your trips in Central America and Caribbean you can go from city hotel to small authentic hotels in small towns or then you can go to a jungle lodge where the monkeys and the birds just go right to your window. So there is a lot in such a little place compared to other uh, regions in the world. Um, here you can also taste um, the difference in the cuisine from the, each different country. You can taste the influence of the Spanish cuisine while in others there is a uh, unmistakable taste of the Caribbean or the African flavors or what we can call the Creole cuisine which combine West African with the French, the Spanish, the Amerindian influences. And not only you can taste it, but at some point in your trip, you are actively participating in making it. So that's something that you can actually, it's a flavor that you can take back home, right? So when you come, when it comes to people and culture, you actually experience uh, the lives of these people down there. In Central America, that can translate to a homestay, for instance, in the island of Ometepe, where travelers can stay. It is an isolated um, rural village. They can really be away from all the city, the big noises, the transportation, the cars, all of that and it's like being in a different world. Our travelers can also explore a remote, remote island of Key Coker on a bike while they are supporting the Bike with Purpose project, for instance, which funds nearly 50% of the educational program for students uh, at Ocean Academy. So while traveling and when just going around with one of these young uh, boys or girls on, on a bike, they are teaching you their home. They are teaching you the island. You're learning at the same time, you are supporting their education. Or you can simply learn about the chocolate route from the tree to the table um, in the most Eastern part of Cuba. This is a place rarely, very rarely visited by mainstream traveler. You'll be surrounded by mountain hiking the trail to the secret hideout of, of Fidel Castro and the Revolutionary Army in 1950s, for instance. So you're basically traveling back in time. It's not only going to a local place, but you're actually traveling back in time. So while in Costa Rica, for instance, you can learn about the coffee in a cooperative that was isolated and uh, a few years back by an earthquake, and they have to reinvent themselves. And by traveling, you're helping these people provide for their families. What makes our CEO unique, um, and you can see the evaluations and comments from our travelers, is their passion and the way they show the, the, the places that you visit. Um, they not only guide you around, like our CEOs, they actually host you. You are coming to their home, you're coming to their land, to their places, to their country. So they are happy to share it with you. It's not only this is a museum or this is the history of this place. This is how it impacted the, the local community. So that way you don't only learn about the place, but you actually see it in context. See how this reality affects different people. And one of those persons is, is actually the CEO that is guiding you around. It doesn't matter which part of Central America you go or which uh, local community you visit. 
once they do, there is something for everyone that comes here. There's something that is going to touch their hearts. While well, traveling is, is not just how you explore the world and collect authentic moments, but you also see the positive impact that you, your travel style has. It's not what you do, but it's more like how you do it and who you decide to do it with. That would definitely be Gia Ventures. You should decide to travel with Gia Ventures because we make it possible for you to change people's lives just by traveling, just by enjoying yourself and going outside of your comfort zone.